Welcome to DJ TV. My correct, correct people, we greet on our welcome now once again to DJ NTV. Yes, so my people, this is Ondo State Governor week by some days ago. Not be smart to be you the come outside for this in Matau. <laughs> Some don't they blame the family, his wife, Papa, and the Pekin. Say not nah, then. Say they not take care of her. A lot of many controversies like this. Eh, huh. So the essence, eh, they come they talk, say, we are this smart for buy. Now TV different location. They don't announce now. Say this smart for buy. According to the family, they put bring out statement talk, say they are Papa buy for Germany. Some uh, other reports also say the man buy for Lagos. Right now, the governor, now the governor will be the uh, deputy governor before in talk say now he has a, he, whole, he house gone 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 for Ibadan. Now this man for buy. Right now, my people, the former presidential candidates for AAC call or more really so worried don't come outside though. He don't come talk concerning this matter. <laughs> He told say the family eh, say they get a lot to talk o. Say that they lie. Say this matter so where this matter go like this. Eh? All the story where they come out, all the story where they come out. Eh? He said na lie that they lie yo. Say but they really if na advanced country will be say they really get time to really investigate this matter. They supposed to start to so investigate the family first before any other thing. Hmm. He talk a lot, my people. Anyway, I probably will leave another one. I watch this video. I'm gonna hear from sure when you say, I'm gonna hear what you're talking about this matter. And make one not forget to like and share. I'm gonna watch the video. Was uh, obeyed uh, after all. Well, um, thank you for bringing me on your show. The concern was not obeyed. They tried everything they can to ensure that they didn't meet national standards in transferring power. Uh, all of this was unnecessary. We could have resolved this a uh, year ago uh, because there was available evidence for us, from us, that uh, the governor was not likely to make it. But um, I blame those who were manipulating the people of Ondo states uh, and those who accepted that, including myself. Uh, it took too long to intervene. Uh, before this was finally resolved. They did not hand over, they did not invoke the doctrine of necessity. As a matter of fact, by last week, they were still claiming that uh, the governor was going on back on vacation. And if I heard the, uh, the, the governor, the substantive governor right, he just said, and maybe, I may be wrong, that the man passed on in his house and not Germany. I don't know if uh, you heard him right, but we should find out where he passed on. Uh, to the great beyond, because that's also important. Because the family issued a statement saying he died in Germany. Deputy, I mean, his uh, former deputy is now saying he passed on his house. Maybe it's a grammatical issue. I don't know. But I'm saying that uh, if he hadn't died, we would still have been, there would still have been a lacuna. Hmm. You uh, know, and it should not be accepted uh, next time. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, sorry to butt in here, because I think, yes, you had right. And uh, I, I also heard him say he passed on in his home in Ibadan there. Uh, there were reports first uh, that he passed on in Germany and another in Lagos, and now we just heard this. But again, if you put all of that into what you just said, because you said day, day, uh, does it also mean that there were, you know, some puppet masses who were at play while the former governor was ill? Well, if you looked at the pictures of... Uh this substantive governor visiting the home of uh, Governor Credo, late Governor Credo today, you see the demeanor of the wife and uh, the the contempt in the way he was looking at uh, this sub, uh, this governor who had just come to visit. You will know that it was all manipulative, uh, and she's acting all sad now. But so three days ago, the wife of the governor was in the state insulting everybody that they had pushed people. A week ago, he met with uh, some members of the House of Assembly. And now we're finding out tonight that uh, Akredolu didn't die in, in, uh, in Germany. So they are all lying to the public that he died in Germany. Maybe they wanted to use that uh, to take some more money out of the state. I don't get it. Everything is a lie. You know, now we may have to demand to see Akredolu's uh, body physically to be sure that uh, he, he hasn't died a long time ago and buried before they came up to announce it. Because basically, 
what these people did, the wife, his son, and the political cabal in Ondo State, was just use his vulnerable condition to take out their greed on the state. Five million people. They're just taking our money, forging signatures. That's why I say that if this was a saner society, these people would be investigated and properly investigated and indicted for the criminal acts they perpetrated using a vulnerable man. This should not have happened to a credible at all. And um, that they could do this to their family, you can understand why they are so mean towards the people of Ondo State. And, you know, people will say, well, this is not the time to say it. But we had to say this during Yaradua's time. Unfortunately, we didn't learn from it. That's why this happened. Because had the law been properly done at that time, after the Yaradua saga, we would not have had to go through this. And this is a shame. It's a shame that now we are finding out tonight that he died in his house. As of yesterday, he said he died in Lagos. A family, because I saw an, a, a statement issued by the family today, signed by one Akere Dulu Jr., saying that he died in Germany. They even passed on information yesterday to the media that he died somewhere near Hanover in Germany. So they were they are still manipulating as we speak. But I knew as of yesterday that something is fishy about because when uh, President uh, Tinumbu issued his own statement, he never mentioned where he died. Lagos State, he never mentioned. It's, it's unusual that they all did not want to talk about where he died. I have a feeling, and I may be wrong, that this man probably died a long time ago before now, and they just kept him wrapped up somewhere in a cooler. Well, sure. I, I know you, you just like uh, so many other uh, Ondo citizens are concerned about developments in your state. While we uh, wait for uh, journalists, you're also a journalist and a politician, to unearth what truly uh, is amiss or what was amiss before his death. Let us in on, you know, the future of Ondo State. Uh, the new governor, Aida Tiwa, uh, just uh, within hours yesterday, uh, rejigged slightly his cabinet and another, uh, you know, some couple of uh, things he's done today. Uh, what do you think the future holds uh, for the man who is now on the saddle? Unfortunately, I don't have any hopes that things will change. Um, Aida Tiwa was... Uh, Deputy to Akere Dolo is a member of the ruling APC. You know their character. They're not going to do anything different. And then, sadly for Andrew State, this is political transition period. I hear that we're trying to, we we'll probably try to get the um, the ticket of uh, for the primaries from the APC, and uh, they won't have time for governors. They just want to try and see what they can do to get him uh, into the electoral uh, mode and that will be it. Um, even if there were no elections, these are the guys who are running on those state for almost seven years now. There's nothing to show for it. So I don't have any reason to lie or give people undue hope that uh, something fundamentally will change in the state. It is not in their character to uh, to go to work even when they have the opportunity. DJ